backlink audit is basically means uh, it's one of the useful tool to be honest where it can help you to audit your backlinks and identify bad backlinks or spam backlinks because usually getting these kind of backlinks to your websites can be hurtful for your ranking so it's always ideal to keep track of all the bad backlinks and either you can ask the webmaster of that website to removing it after identifying it or you can create a something called a google dis love file which will be something like a negative list of all the backlinks or domain where you can collect it and create a file and submit your google webmaster to to just to uh, let google know that these uh, backlinks are not created by me or these are spam backlinks i don't want to associate these backlinks to my website this is really good and one of the most useful uh, seo tools to be honest so in order to do that i'm first going to set up the project on a backlink analysis audit this is going to open up my uh, backlink audit and it automatically find shows all the backlinks which is SMrush as its data in its database for my particular domain. For example, you can see root domain, the www version or non www. But if you are unexperienced or not sure which to choose, make sure you always choose a root domain to be good, and then go into the brand settings and you can specify your brand anchor text or your brand name to get much more in-depth analysis for example i'm also going to type uh, digital marketing mind with spaces so i can get an idea on it and you can see automatically uh, sorry i think i missed uh, marketing mind i'm going to keep that as it is so this is where you keep on adding your brand name for your domain you can go up to top uh 10 uh, different brand names and the next one is the domain category where you can obviously select a category for your back uh, your domain industry you are in for example in this case i'm going to click uh, let's say something like uh, computer let's see internet and telecom computer and something whatever the thing the main reason these is uh, use this like when they are analyzing the website it will analyze the type of backlinks you have received also so it will be a good indicator for them to see if it's coming from a different industry backlinks then what kind of relevancy is there and is it relevant to the backlink profile or something like that they are so you choose whatever the industry which is relevant to your particular website and the second uh, the last fourth one is like target country in case if you are wanting to focus on specific country sections or something like that you can always select multiple for example in this case i'm going to focus on united kingdom and as well as india i can do that so once that is done i'm going to click on start backlink auditing we are now it's going to do an audit of all the 2000 plus different backlinks it has found i'm going go into back into uh, the project section of the smrush and opening up this project and you can see it is already starting to auditing the backlink it will take some time depending on your number of backlinks and all the and you can see now the report uh, for the backlink audit is done if i go into the backlink audit section now now i can get more details from it for example the goal for the backlink audit is to man monitor toxic or bad backlinks which could affect your SEO off-page SEO process. Basically, it shows the overall toxic uh, toxicity score where currently my site is very healthy to be honest the backlink profile you can see there are over 95 percentage of backlink which are non-toxic and only three percent or three backlinks are toxic link and four potential one and it will show you the overall review here and it will show you the total number of referring domain it will show you the total number of analyzed backlink and also if i connect my google search console it will bring more data i would i just highly recommend you guys to connect that as well and also it will should give you all the overview chart of this as well depending on each day and since i have just created the project you only see one day but as the time progress you will keep on seeing this data for every day 
and you will also get backlink review you can also contact webmaster directly from here and automatically monitor those approaches as well because there are two ways to remove uh, bad backlinks one is to contact the webmaster of that particular website domain and uh, request them to remove that backlink or you submit a google disallow file because if it's a if you are contacting someone and they are not responding or they are not fixing or removing the link then there is no other way to remove the backlink right so in that case you create a google disallow and automatically say ask google to not to consider those backlinks and it will also give you the top 10 uh, under referring domain with their uh, category on how they are placed and also domain categories authority scores like where my most of the backlinks are coming from what kind of authority uh, is mostly spread out so i can get a much better idea we, i also get top anchors used and top target pages attributes all those things all of these are basically as i mentioned a uh, summarized of all the functionality which we are going to find out through here if i go into the first tab which is the audit tab where we automatically going to have a check up and see which are the bad links or which are the good links to identify that you can see automatically it shows all the different one and if i hover over it you can see what kind of score it's giving out what kind of toxicity score so these three are the most toxic kind of backlink it founded for my site so it can see based on the color car this is the potential one where this is actually a good one because it's a podcast website so i can uh, select uh, select this move to whitelist and I, I can automatically say this domain itself is a good one and I can whitelist it so I know that this is a really good backlink for me so I can do these kind of changes here automatically wait for this to refresh now and you can see it has been automatically moved to the whitelist also uh, once that is done now I'm into this where this could be a bad backlink I'm not sure about it so I can go into that and see it and if I see that is actually a bad backlink I can move to a disallow or let me show you one let me move to the remove list I want to do that move to the remove list and I want one to make a disallow list we can do both of this approach i'm going to show you again an example of each one of these as well and we do have a lot of filters here also like in case if you have thousands of backlink you can't go one by one in that case you can use this top uh, toxic uh, markers like for identifying various bad backlinks on what let's say for example i want to uh, identify all the backlinks which is as a malicious content then i can click on it and do this thing so you have this option as well you have other link attribute option like do you want to concentrate on follow links which is the most powerful backlinks or no follow sponsored ugc or this option as well you can control by the toxicity score as well anchors category authority score link type all these options are available for you there and also you can see you can also create a comment for it in case for any sort of reason you want to manage a content for example uh, this is an event which i am sponsoring so i can do that I like event sponsorship and i can do that comment or whatever the comment it could be you can make that and save it then it's a visual reminder you know that there is a commented here if i click on it i can actually see what is the comment in a later time so i can get a better idea on it so that is what in audit now if i go into the remove section you can see i have added one remove section here so i can automatically see that there is no information so i can try to send an email for this particular founder you can see it automatically tries to find an email in case it couldn't find a proper one you can obviously add find an email outside assemblage and bring that data here and you can automatically customize this message or use the default one and you can remove ask send a remove message to them if it's still not working or if still not getting removed then possible cases you can disallow this email uh, uh, link as well like you can select it and click on disallow now it will move this particular backlink to the disallow where if i go into the disallow section and you can see now there should be uh, the disallow link is here so what it happens is it 
we up add backlinks from these sections to the disallow and it will automatically we can export a txt file and we need to go into the google search console disallow feature for this particular website you can see we can select the website and automatically export this uh, sheet then what we'll do is it will automatically mark out and say that these links don't consider when looking for seo benefit so that is what disallow does and lost and found is where basically it shows all the backlinks based on their uh, status like whether it's a brand new backlinks which got found or broken backlink or lost backlink so depending on your use case you can identify and if it's something like a lost you can obviously try to reach out and say that i added link it for some reason is lost maybe can you check it out so you can do that as well from here broken link is same in case the link is broken you can obviously find this and fix all those backlinks and you can see it provides all the different attributes like it whether it's a no follow new link and what kind of ip link all the data are there and you can see the anchor text which is coming through and also you have various different options as well here and filters options also available target pages where it will now show where the for what pages you are getting most number of backlinks so you can get an idea on what kind of backlinks numbers are you getting for all the different pages and you can connect your google uh, traffic to see uh, what kind of traffic that particular web page is bringing to you so you have this option as well based on referring domain or you can do it by based on the number of backlinks you are getting for each of these pages you can see all the different ones are available here so that is basically what backlink audit does